Hi folks, Tim here, and welcome back to From 8 to 38, The Chronicles of a Young Entrepreneur. And today's video is about volunteering and community-mindedness. And yes, mindedness is actually a word. I did look that up before I used it because I know sometimes I use a word that just doesn't exist. But anyway, that's what today's video is about, is volunteering and community-mindedness. So as a small business owner, especially when you're just starting out or even when you only have an employee or two, you are wearing almost every single hat there is in that business. You are wearing the bookkeeping hat where you are doing your profit and loss. You're writing the checks. You are either doing payroll yourself or reporting to the payroll company. You are billing clients. You are meeting with clients and then doing estimates. And most likely, at least I would hope, you are still doing at least some of the work with your business yourself. And in my case, we are doing all of those things along with much of the maintenance on our trucks and our equipment and just countless other things that I can't even think of right now. But you're always switching hats, always wearing different hats, and you don't have a lot of time to be able to donate or volunteer. So one of the things that you can do when you don't have that amount of time is be able to donate, support, sponsor worthy organizations in the town financially. Because while these organizations are always looking for volunteers because there's always a manpower shortage, they're always looking for different funding as well because there's always a funding shortage. So try to find an organization that you feel is worthy of some of your income and figure out a way to help them raise some funds with your donation. So we did that just recently with the Sportsman's Club. Now I happen to be a member of the Sportsman's Club, but they have a wonderful youth program that Jackson really enjoys going to. And it's teaching um, various safety along with the proper use of bows and, and, and other items. So we went to, or I went to the board after I discussed it with Abby and said to them that we would like to sponsor a raffle for the Sportsman's Club, that we would arrange for the prizes, we would pay for the prizes, and we would pay for the tickets. In exchange, we wanted our name at the bottom of the ticket, the Elmendorf Landscaping Business name at the bottom of the ticket, that we donated the prizes. So by doing that, as a business, we were able to use that as a tax write-off because they are a non-for-profit organization and we could use it as advertising. So whichever one makes more sense, I'm going to talk to the accountant about it, but whichever one makes more sense, we can do that. And obviously the board members of the club were very excited about it. It is a fundraiser that they have not had to lay out any money or any time to organize. I told them I will do the tickets, I will do all the uh, prize purchasing, things like that. The only thing I wanted people, other folks to get involved in was helping to sell the tickets. So that's a great example of something that you can do to take your smaller donation and turn it into a larger um, income. So that's an example of what you can do to take a seemingly small donation and turn it into something that has the potential to bring a lot more money in for your organization. Now, there are so many things that you can sponsor. I know um, there's youth football leagues, there's uh, little league for baseball, there's soccer leagues, there's so many different leagues and they're always looking for sponsors. So there's so many things hitting you all at once. So unfortunately, 
many, many small businesses are asked for donations to many worthy organizations. And a lot of the time they have to say no, but they don't have to all the time. So I would definitely challenge the business owners out there to put aside a small amount of money in your budget every year to be able to support a worthy cause in the town that most of your income comes from. So another example for that is we often speak about Teta's Market and Pizza and Gas Station over in Sampsonville. Well, they did a community type day last year where they had a petting zoo and a bounce house and there was um, different foods and stuff like that. And their proceeds, the profits for that day, went to various non-for-profit organizations right here in our town. So that was a way that the owner of that business was able to get advertising, get people to show up, and also make a very good name for themselves by donating back to the town that they live in, that they work in, and that so much of their income is received from. So it's something that we've tried to do as our business. We've taken a certain percentage of what we make in a year and have said we are going to donate it back to a worthy organization. So that's a way that you can be community minded without having to take the time to volunteer. And I don't want to say that one wipes the other. I don't want to say that you can just volunteer and who cares about the money or you can just donate money and who cares about the volunteering. But those are two really, really important things that as a business, it's something that I really want to see these businesses work on more. If I was fundraising in our town and I'm visiting these small businesses, many times the small business is willing to donate a free pizza for a raffle prize. Or uh, I know at one point we had somebody donate a quart of firewood. There's uh, another place that donated a gas card at one point. So all these different things you can do as a small business and it's something that as your business grows and as you as a young entrepreneur are growing as well, keep that in the back of your mind. Keep in the back of your mind that your income came from this town or these two towns or these three towns, whatever the case may be, or maybe the county. Keep that in the back of your mind. And once you are successful, or maybe as you are on your way to being very successful, take some time, take some money, and donate it back to a worthy organization in the town. It's something that is very important for these organizations. And it's something that's very important for you as an individual. I have found that, for me, some of the most rewarding things are when I'm giving. And, and it might sound a little selfish, but it makes myself, it makes Abby feel good to give back to the community or give to your church or give to the fire department, help with the little league, whatever the case may be. So it's something that mentally means a lot to us. It um, being generous is really, really important. So those are a few thoughts on volunteering and community mindedness. Again, both of them are near and dear to my heart. They're both very important to me. And it does not take a lot. You, you can donate a free pizza if you're a pizzeria or a couple cups of coffee if you're running a coffee business. Every business has its own thing that it can donate and many times it doesn't have to hurt you as a business to donate. You don't want to donate to the point of where you're wondering if you can pay your bills, but you want to donate back and be generous to all these organizations 
in your community without having to close your doors, of course, but also be able to support them. And by doing that, it shows that you are appreciative of what they do. So by donating to your local fire department, it shows that you are appreciative of what the members of that fire department do, whether they're volunteer or not, whether it's a volunteer fire department or not. You know, stopping by and dropping off a couple dozen cookies at the firehouse to where it's a paid organization, I guarantee those guys love that stuff. So our fire department had somebody drop off uh, dessert for 50 or 60 people one night when we were having our monthly meeting because once a month we have a meeting. So the person dropped that off and that was so appreciated. Things like that are so appreciated. So you can do little things and they in return reap huge rewards. So those are a few of my thoughts on community mindedness, volunteering. Uh, it was a little bit less about the small business today, more about those two things because that was just what was on my mind today. So I wanted to share that with you and give some examples of what you can do as a business, as a small business, or as a larger business to support and encourage the local worthy organizations in your area. Now, I know I talked about volunteering at a young age. I started with the fire department at 16. That was when you could volunteer with our fire department. I'm not sure what other ones are, but there are areas that you can volunteer before you're 16. And this part is specifically to the parents and the guardians of young entrepreneurs. If your child wants to volunteer, please, please, please find a way to make it work in your schedule. And it doesn't have to be going way out of the way to volunteer. There's always things, always people looking for volunteers, and there's things that your kids can do as young men and women at an early age and you can help them grow and mature and you can help grow that spirit of volunteerism and community mindedness. So it's something that I would really, really challenge the parents out there. If your kids want to go three houses down and help the lady whose husband passed away rake her leaves or shovel her driveway because it's something that they want to do. Not that it's something they want to do to make money, which is great as well, but it's something that they want to do, that caring spirit. It's lost. There are so few people who have that spirit anymore. If your kids have it, they exhibit it, and they're starting to show it, encourage it. Because we need that. As a country, we need that. It's not all about the money. It's about caring for other people. So please encourage that with your kids. Don't force them necessarily. But as soon as they show an interest in doing that, please make sure that that happens. Something that's really important. So your kids being active in the community is so important to the future of our country and our country is something that is very very near and dear to my heart it's something that I feel we're losing and one of the big things we're losing is everybody only cares about themselves anymore they don't care about their community they don't care about their neighbor they don't care about anyone Sometimes they don't even care about their family. They only care about themselves. So if you have a child who wants to volunteer and wants to help the old lady down the road who lost her husband, even if it's pulling the garbage cans out, whatever it is, please encourage that. It's something that we need as a country. It's something that is so 
so important. So those are a few thoughts that I had about volunteering, community mindedness, a little bit less about the entrepreneur side today, but it's just something that I was thinking about because I'm driving around doing some volunteer type stuff today. So it was uh, on my mind specifically today. But that's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share. Thank you.